Welcome to part two, and welcome to the main tomb. It's a pretty big area on its own. Golden arm. What the hell? About to face a whole shit ton of zombies up here. But luckily, the tables have turned. So I've got over 30 water arrows, six vials of holy water, and a complete disregard for unlife. Four dead zombies, all in a row. Oh, you want some too, don't you? Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. Oh, you want some too, don't you? Yeah, I can see it. You want some of what I got? Well, too bad, because I don't perform for just one zombie at a time. <laughs> Tombs with piped-in music. How classy. Here's where we would have come in if I hadn't taken that detour. Yeah, come on. I got enough party favors for everybody. Your turn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when they're lying down, they only need one arrow each. Ah, missed. Who's that? Oh, you want some too? Now you, you're getting a special favor. Fire! <laughs> oh, you want some too, don't you? Yeah! And your brother! Oh, what's that? What's that? You can take it? You can't take that! How about you? You can take it too, can't you? Not two of them. It's a zombie apocalypse and everybody's invited. <laughs> ah, silent. Just the way I like it. Ah, third golden bone. Kind of a misnomer. That's an entire limb, not just one bone. Well, surprise of surprises, both of those guys are zombies. So guess what's gonna happen? Holy water, bitch! Suck it! Ah, and three to spare. Why do they even hide those boulders anyway? It's not like it matters. Uh, you know, I think I'll just let that guy be. I could pretty easily make my way around him. Hmm. 
checking all the tombs here for treasure. Not much, though. I mean, there's a lot less random loot on Expert. Since the two special items, the mystic stuff, both count towards the loot total. Right, I think that's all that there is in this room. What's this? Felix? You don't look so good. Felix himself? Didn't make it though. Too bad. Hmm. I think I can leave that one to be too. No sense wasting all my arrows. By the way, I showed off the fire arrows earlier, but I was a little caught up to say that unlike all the other arrows, fire arrows don't arc. And neither do the gas arrows, but we haven't encountered those yet. Let's see. So yeah, for some reason that little thing in the center of that bridge has something fire out of that little black hole. Here we are. So, fire arrows always fire in a straight line, so you've got to aim it with the top of the reticle rather than by distance. First floor now, so let's head on up that ramp. Oh, another one, huh? Thankfully, I can afford to be wasteful since there's much fewer zombies on the wall. Much fewer zombies on the second and third levels than there were on the first. Nothing. Doesn't look like there's anything over there, but I guess I'll check anyway. Just a waste of time. out for the light. See, it's not because the light itself is dangerous, but because the light covers a ton of touch plates. Just so. Let's 
see. So down on the first level, we've got another holy water font that's really too far away from any zombies to matter. And two more golden bones. There's really no hint about what to do with them, except that you find two of them here. But once you throw all five of the ones you found, you get rewarded. One vial of holy water. One, two, three, four fire arrows. And another eight water arrows. Excellent. So over here we have a lot of zombies. Behind all those doors. You know, they're not really being a trap very well since I can hear them all. But here's where you needed all those fire arrows. You needed five of them. You get four from the guy next door. There's a thing here in Thief Gold in case you screwed up and used all the fire arrows from earlier. Oh yeah, I see you. I knew you were there. Come on. Come on over. Plenty of holy water for all of you. Yeah, if you... If you do it just right... You can do some splash damage with the water arrows. save you a couple arrows in the end. Right, so lighting all those torches lets you in here. Oh yeah. This is where they keep the mystic soul. And also where they keep a lot of obvious traps. Here, let me show you. Yeah, they really do not want you going up those stairs. But if you take a running jump, you can clear it. Running jump again. And we're good. This puts you on the right side of the zombies. So that if you wanted to, you could outrun them, but I'd rather kill them all. It feels better that way. Mystic Soul. It was worth 500 all by itself. And Mystic's Heart's gonna be worth double that once I find it. Right, up here we've got a pretty pathetic trap. Since you can just sort of walk next to it and avoid the blasts. Back to the bird caves. You seem oddly pacified though. I believe Felix's own notes say that the horn is pacifying the barracks. Apparently it's playing on just the right frequencies to make them stop and listen instead of 
randomly attack passers-by. Good thing I'm not afraid of heights. Crap. That's gonna be a lot of ladders. I think I've mentioned that the ladders in this game kind of suck. Not that that was anything really new or special at this point in time in games. Oh, that was particularly tricky right there. Sounds like you can hear the rocks groaning and what the... Man, way to screw that one up. Let's see if I can... Nope. <laughs> yeah, I left that death in because number one, it was my only death. And number two, it shows you just how much this room sucks. Looks like we can hear the rocks groaning now that the Horn of Quintus isn't drowning it out. Ugh. Ah, damn it. <sighs> At least I lived, and I do have six healing potions. And now all the bergs are going to be <sighs> problematic. So let's just dash on through here. <sighs> Speed potion style. That makes you go really, really fast. Unfortunately, it doesn't last very long. But it lasted long enough for me to get out of the tunnels. Quintus, mystic soul. Only thing left is the heart. And this is a pretty tricky drop jump right here, but. The way you stick it is that you have to be looking directly perpendicular to the ledge. Otherwise you fall. It took me a lot of tries to figure that one out. Unfortunately that goblet's your only reward for getting in. Murder it up close. Yeah, I 
could have gone around up there, but well, it's only at Burke. And now welcome to the most bullshit traps in the entire crypt. Yeah. This is gonna be painful. Just gotta hop, skip, jump, and oh, oh. Can't believe I landed that. Oh. oh. Holy shit. That's like the first time I got down here without getting hit once. Here's the deadly statues. And let me just show off what they do first. Yep. Not even a second to dodge. If they see you, you're dead. Now, luckily, all of them are conveniently pointed at one of these pillars, so if you can just make sure that you always break eye contact with them. Thread the needle, if you will. Then you'll be good. Oh, here's another bit. Say hello to the hammer haunt. Uh, I don't really mind the hammer haunt. They sound creepy as hell, but watch this. Unlike the zombies, once you kill them, they stay dead. And there's the mystic's heart. Ah, that's everything. Oh, and they conveniently teleported us on the other side of the bullshit traps. now, except make our exit. Now, I believe that if you manage it, you can trek all the way back to the beginning and leave that way. But all those thieves had to come from a different route if they were heading in the direction we left. So if we can find where they came in... There is one stop before we make our final exit. There's this pit here. With a conveniently wooden ceiling. Stay away from the eye of faith, thief, or you'll be sorry. By the way, there's this chest here. Four extra rope arrows in case you somehow got your ass stuck. Careful. Good. Avoided the trap. One of the nice things about rope arrows is that they're recyclable, but only if you can get to them. I fired that one a little far away, so... Well, it doesn't really matter. I don't even need any more rope arrows, and inventory doesn't carry over between missions.
Aha. Here's our way out. We did it. We survived the Bone Horde. Uh, looks like I missed a piece of loot, but I found so much it doesn't even really matter. See you all next time.